I'm Don. Um, I have been, I'm a, originally I'm a Kiwi, moved to Australia in 2005. I managed a large publishing business here in Melbourne um, and now I've retired and I'm, well, I'm semi-retired. I like to think I'm still doing some work here, doing some consultancy work, um, but I'm actually enjoying retirement at the moment. Our client, Don, uh, is a first-time user of hearing aids. He's a, a semi-retired consultant. Uh, so he's in a lot of different situations, work and socially. Uh, he came to us because uh, he was starting to experience hearing problems, uh, especially in those noisy places. Fairly minimal hearing loss, uh, but was interested to try hearing aids. He did try some that didn't quite work out, but he came back a little bit later uh, and we tried him with the open hearing aids for trial. And he came back a week later and said, yeah, the, these are doing what I need to do. So uh, Don purchased the Opens. Uh, he's been very happy with them. He's uh, been overseas with them. He's back. He's, he's been at work. Uh, and he's, he's just finding that uh, he's getting the benefit he wanted. He's getting the clarity in background noise. In business, I, I think... As time went by and as I got older, I recognised there were circumstances in which I struggled. One was at meetings. I didn't always pick up people, certainly down the end of a table. Not so bad at uh, large gatherings where there was microphones and people were speaking. But if people were uh, in a group, I had a struggle sometimes hearing. I also had trouble. I used to attend a lot of functions and cocktail parties dinner parties and course of my work and privately and I found that I was getting harder it was getting harder and harder for me to actually distinguish what someone was saying against background noise I guess that as you get older you look to ways and means of making it easier for yourself to do things but I think that initially I was reluctant to think about hearing aids and then I came to a sort of a startling conclusion that, well, I have a bit of a, a vision problem and I don't have any problem wearing glasses and I've worn them since I was 17. Um, so what's the difference in wearing hearing aids? And I did think that possibly in society there is a bit of a stigma attached, ongoing stigma attached to people wearing hearing aids and it's regarded as well, you're getting old or, you know, you're only old people wear them. But I got through that because I rationalised on the basis, well, you know, you're damn silly if you're actually persisting in environments or situations where you are struggling and you do nothing about it. And so I'm a realist in that regard. So when it was suggested I wore hearing aids, um, I then did a bit of investigation along with the uh, uh, hearing and uh, I found that there were lots of options that were coming on the market which I hadn't thought of. I think sometimes people get a funny idea that hearing aids are great big things that you have plastered all over your ear and I think that the new technologies have got to the stage where miniaturisation virtually conceals them. And uh, so I was interested in that. Uh, so I said, yes, I, I, would, I would do something about it. Interestingly enough, um, I, I did like the idea that the, the smallest ones were, I still had this, the idea that I wanted to have them as concealed as possible. Um, but I had, re I had tried various, um, or had looked into various options, and I was um, impressed that some of the manufacturers were getting into um, uh, New t newer technologies, Bluetooth technologies and things like that. And I felt that along with the miniaturisation and the fact that they were able to include these new technologies, that gave me a further reason why I should consider um, these particular uh, aids. It is part of your health and well well-being that you're trying to, 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 uh, to affect or to improve. It took me a while to start to think about how it worked uh, in a group situation, but I found that um, where it was a dinner party type 
situation. I had a greater uh, ability to hear the person perhaps across the table or beside me or wherever without the background noise um, uh, intruding or swallowing up that conversation and effectively making it one way and I was really at a disadvantage previously. So that was that was overcome. As far as the connectivity to concern, that was a very interesting part of why I purchased these, this particular brand. Um, it, the, I had read that they had released this Bluetooth technology and technology interests me. I come from a media background, the whole idea of uh, technologies and organisations embracing technologies to, to make it their products better and to make them more serviceable for clients uh, seem to be really, uh, you know, at the forefront of Otacon's uh, offerings. So I, um, I connected it to my iPhone. I play my music. I use Spotify. I play my music through it. The telephone rings and I answer it. And in fact, when I was coming in for this discussion today, I was on the tram and I got a telephone, business telephone call and I was talking on my, my phone like this, um, uh, like this to the person and I saw some people over there looking at me wondering whether I was just talking to my phone because I was a bit odd or talking to my phone because I had some technological difference that they didn't have. And I felt quite good about that. <laughs> but it certainly made the conversation easier. So the technology is there, uh, so I can adjust the program if I need to on my iPhone. Uh, I found that really good. I don't have to go to the actual aid itself, so I can adjust it on the uh, on the iPhone. I I've used them in a variety of situations, not all of them business. I've, um, in social settings, uh, has been a plus. Uh, the op Oticon open hearing aids have been um, easy for me to you know, carry around, even though they are small. You've got to be careful. Uh, but I was recently went to Europe on a tour, and I this was in the early days of my using them, and I found that a plus. Uh, was with a group of people, sometimes in a sort of more boisterous situations, um, sometimes in a more quiet situations. But they were definitely um, of value when I was touring. One of the things that was just really remarkable about these these particular aids was uh, I started talking to people and, uh, you know, uh, in a just general conversation and I dropped that I had hearing aids. And they said, really? And they had not noticed that I had hearing aids at all until I pointed it out. The other thing which I found um, positive was in a cafe. Many of the cafes in Melbourne, um, bless their co little cotton socks, is, are rather poor in terms of the um, you know, acoustics and very people with loud voices dominate and clattering and that. And I found that very frustrating with talking to somebody. I think, I think now, especially one-on-one -on -one or with a small group of people, I don't have a sense of um, frustration that I perhaps had before where I was struggling. So noisy cafes have not, are, not, are not the, um, the bugbear that I think they were for me previously. Um, and I, 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 in fact, I, I recall that I actually used to identify two or three restaurants in, uh, in, um, here in Melbourne that were, um, that were a no-no for me because of the, just the ambient noise was just too much, a lot of clatter and banging and... Um, um, was an unpleasant experience, and they were good. They were regarded as good, you know, restaurants or cafes. And so, so now I don't think I would even think about that.